Now, for the moment you all been waiting for. Can I get a drum roll? A little, come on. No, no. Okay, that's fine. There. See, I like that energy. Come on, end to end. Come on, guys. Yes, yes. So, you all know this person. You all love this person. At least I hope you do. I somewhat have to, but that's a different story. <laughs> Without further ado, I would like to introduce end to end's founder and CEO, the very own Kirin Kotitala. Now I'm going to take an icebreaker question and, and kind of all, all ask all of you one simple question, and you all can jump in, even people on Zoom as well. We all live in interesting times. You know, we've seen some of the biggest technological advances of our time. So tell me, and some of us are you know, around 50 years, some of us are around 25 years, and some of us are under 20 years, like Varun and Abhi are. But tell me what your most, in your lifetime, what do you think is the most important technical advancement of your generation? Cell phones. Cell phones, we'll start with there. We'll keep that <laughs> internet, obviously, because you know everybody carries everybody. Everything we do is based on internet, and what's that? DeFi. What's DeFi? Oh, digital payments. Sure, like I think uh, digital payments is in, innovative. Internet is innovative, and you're right. Smartphones is innovative, but I think some of you guys have said AI, and. It absolutely is true. We are living in this time where, you know, of innovation, if you ask somebody five years from now on what is the, you know, just like smartphones have completely revolutionized everything we do, on what will, what has changed their life for the foreseeable future. Just like, you know, five years from now, five years ago, if somebody asks you what has completely radically changed everything, they'll probably say internet. You know, probably last year, if somebody asked, like, what has radically changed everything you do, they'll probably say smartphones. But five years from now, if somebody says, you know, what has radically changed everything we do, it is beyond a doubt, without a question, AI. Everything we do from now for the foreseeable future will be absolutely changed because of artificial intelligence. It, whether it's your cell phone or your Alexa or your or your car, or your washing machine, or I don't know, your door, if you have an uh, electronic door, it will be radically changed as a result of artificial intelligence, and we'll talk about that. And that is what makes 2023, as low as 2020 has been in civilization of mankind, 2023, we are living in the time of where we have gen created history. So why is that important? The reason for that's important is, for example, like internet, when it was invented, or desktop was when when it came to be, it took us about ten years to get desktops in hands of every person or most of the people. For internet, when after it came, it took us about three or four years or five years for everybody to start appreciating, using, and utilizing it. Smartphones, it took them maybe three years. Like Apple, uh, Android uh, devices, it took them three years. But AI, believe it or not, it was only introduced less than a year ago, and now it is absolutely used whether you're a 95-year-old 95 95 grandma or 15-year-old boy or 5-year-old girl. The, the power of AI and its ability to completely change everything we do, how we search, how we interact, how we operate, is going to be something that we all can be proud of just because we witnessed the moment. And that's something I'm excited about. This is a breakthrough moment for everybody in the world. Everything, whether they all say that technology is the greatest equalizer, internet is the greatest equalizer, but I contend that AI is going to be the greatest equalizer. And this, this gets to Emma's point. You know, when you talk about dyslexia, as much as I love Professor Poole, right? Uh, Poulis, um, Poulis? Yeah, so pr as much as I love Professor Poulis and how he has taken a personal interest in Emma, it should have never come to that. It should have been in a scenario where he could have written an essay and somebody would have ca caught it and immediately said, hey, you need to go to this school. You need to get this tool. You need to get this appliance. And now you can. So the, with the power of AI, you can detect everything from you know, dyslexia all the way to most complex things possible. And we'll talk a little bit about that. And 
you know, there's so many things we can talk about AI. You know, we all talk about machine learning, you know, deep learning, neural learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and I'm not going to spend one hour here training you, educating you on what that is. And these are just like, you know, now I don't just like do research. I just ask AI what are the top 10 things to talk about, and AI basically told me these are. And you all will say, well, you know, AI is probably going to lie to you or whatever, and let's, not, let's keep that aside. Let's assume that AI is always going to be the source of truth and gives us the information. But the reason why I like these six things is that machine learning, deep learning, supervised learning, and unsupervised learning are all learnings. And why is that important? The reason why it's important is because that's how we, we adapt. That's how we grow. That's how we learn. These AI tools are not some kind of you know, demons or tools that, that are coming up with things that by themselves. They're learning based on how you type. They're learning based on the question you ask. They're learning based on your data. And they're growing, evolving, and adapting to your questions and based on your topology. However, that brings us to really the reason why we are here. While all of that is great, unfortunately, universities are still stuck in pre-1900s. Some, some universities, some, some of them have moved, some of them have made technical advancements. While AI can do all sorts of learning and adapted and evolved over the years, the learning itself is still quite broken. And that's why we are here. So why is that you know, hard? Because just like Imad has said, as when a student wants to graduate, he has to go through a myriad of things. He has to go to advisor, he has to go to faculty member, he has to register for course, he has to pay their bills. He or she or they, uh, they have to you know, get counseling, they have to get books, they have to ask 100 different people on how to get there. And you can ask Abhi and Rohan and Aziz, sorry, Abhi and Varun and Aziz on how they, even today, go through the same problems that a typical student used to go through 15, 20 years ago. Even though technology has moved far, even though these kids have all sorts of devices and all sorts of technologies, higher education is still a gargantuan mess where they don't even, it's not even just about you know, going from A to B is, is so complicated. Most universities don't even have what an A is and what a B is. And that is why we are here. Everything we do at end-to-end, -end, like Hitesh and I talk about it all the time, like why do we have to do this or you know, why should we invest more time? It's because we are here to help students learn. And we can't do that until this mess that the students have to deal with. When they have to go to a parking office or you know, when they have to get a parking pass, they have to get 15, 15 different links to get, find a parking pass. When they have to get registered, they have to go to three different websites, go through four different logins to be able to register. If they have to pay their bills, they have to click on five different pages and find their breadcrumbs. And it's, it should not be this way, at least not in 2023. It, it was okay to do this in 1990, but it, it's not okay to do it now. And that is why we are so excited about the moment that we are in, is that AI can radically change everything, but the question is, is higher education going to be that red dot in the middle of all the white dots where banking will be reimagined, automation will be reimagined, technology will be reimagined, cars will be reimagined, but higher education will stay stagnant? And that's a question that we need to answer. But before we do that, we really want to talk a little bit about what you know, Hitesh was talking about, is that where we were and what we, what we started out. When we launched N2N in 2000, 2010 and 2011, we really wanted to have a single vision. Our simple vision was connect anything to anything. Whether it's a web application, mobile application, portal application, we wanted to be able to connect anything to anything. However, we realized that for us to do that, it is extremely hard. You need to understand, like at least in 2000s or 1950, 1995s, you need to understand different Android platforms, different mobile platforms, different technology platforms. And we really moved it to, like, let's not connect to everything. Let's connect to some things. Let's connect to our partners. Let's enable our partners. Let's engage with our partners. And eventually, we got to a point where we've, we've done a good job. We've enabled partners like your course, 
course management systems, mobile, mobile applications, and student information systems and the like. However, the problem of connecting everything to everything remained elusive for end to end. We really kind of conceded on that goal because we didn't want to build 100 different mobile applications, hundreds of portal applications, and the like. And that's when we, the good thing we have done is so far is that we've invested our energy in APIs. We invested energy in building APIs that will allow us to grow and excel and support all these partners. But as we evolved, the power of AI started becoming real, where if you go to OpenAI and when you log into OpenAI, they only have two things they talk about, chat or APIs. Everything about OpenAI, the reason why ChatGPT is so successful and all elusive, all powerful is because not only because of this great integration platform, but also it's a completely open ecosystem of APIs. So now that we have the APIs, which enable things, students, kids to be able to do, register for courses, courses pay their bills, and um, you know, get their courses, admit to, admit to classes, enroll in, uh, enroll in programs, we can now truly make AI valuable and make all of this nightmare that the student has to go through where they have to go through hundreds of different systems and make it truly seamless and possible using the power AI. So higher education is no longer, solving the problem of higher education is no longer finding a needle in a ha haystack, but because of end-to-end's -end original commitment to connect anything to anything, we actually can make that happen. So why is that important? Why is it important for any of us while we're standing here? Well, number one, we want to stop, you know, the next demand from, you know, falling out of the education loop. And we want to stop the next student from dropping off because, you know, they didn't they didn't find the right school. We want to stop the next student from even getting getting admitted um, if they don't feel like they can afford it. So we need to we owe it to ourselves. We owe it to every one of our students to be able to do this. And now the big question is, what are the goals, right? We can all say, you know, AI can solve everything, but what are the goals truly we can solve for them and how? Before we talk about how end-to-end -end can solve it, I want to make sure that we understand what that interface would look like and how we can solve it. Obviously, the first step is, you know, when a st if it's a student, the student should be able to just count, go to the search app, just like they can go, go to the search and say, you know, find me the nearest, find me, find me the cheapest pizza, or find me the address from, of this place, or find me the way to go from point A to point B. I want them to be able to search and say, how can I graduate faster? And why is that, you know? So it's not, it's I can graduate, right? How is it possible? So the only way that's possible is if the system is secure enough and private enough so that I know who the student is, I know what their education curriculum has been and bounce it against the actual data of the universities. So what we are talking about with end-to-end -end is our ability to connect all these disparate systems and use that to enable these answer these questions. So with AI, I can now do that. With the platform that we are building, I can take the student information system, get their academic history data, find out the different courses they need to take and say, here's your quickest path to success. And not just showing this is their degree plan, I can also show which instructions, which instructors they're most successful with, which instructional methods they'll be successful with, and to a point where they can explicitly know which courses they should take. And AI can do that for you. And with an advisor, they can, they can answer the question like, how can I help my students succeed better or succeed faster? And again, in the current system, they basically say, this is the transcript, go uh, find the courses they need. With this system, they can say, for this type of student, they can find the right course based on their academic history, their past, past performance, and the instructor's past performance as well. And again, AI truly makes this possible. And most importantly, when a university president or a chancellor goes and says, which programs are doing better? How is my institution performing? And it is, it's no longer just about, you know, this is your enrollment numbers, this is your graduation numbers, this is about, this is your at-risk population, like Emad was talking about. The, in this program, 
more students are failing, more students are at risk, more students are not going to graduate. And once we answer these questions, then AI truly becomes a value where it will truly and radically change everything we do. Because why is that important? It's important because if we can generate more students to be successful, if we can allow more students to be successful, then we'll create a better population where of students who are more educated, more smart, more efficient, more organized, and more critical thinkers, and that will only allow us to build the next generation of the world. And most importantly, it will allow us to figure out how do I truly change the world. And that's what we are excited about. What we are about to do at end-to-end -end is truly help anybody to graduate faster, help an advisor help their, advi help their students graduate or succeed, help a president make their campus more efficient, and most importantly, how can I change the world? How can each one of us truly transform the world by powering, empowering the APIs? And what I'm so excited about today is that we are moving away from our from original promise from connect anything to anything to connect anything to AI, connect anything to APIs, which is where we were, which we are where we are, to connect anything to AI. And excited to announce our new product line called Lightleap. Lightleap is truly going to be a fully powered platform that connects the university's data integration systems, student information system, learning management system, CRM systems to provide an intelligence to an advisor, faculty member, student, and administrator so that they know, they get the answers they need from the system. And it's no longer just going to be about you know, a student going to a student information system and logging into 100 different systems. Their website will change to the platform that we built for Lightly. Their mobile application will, will be replaced by a search bar. Their registrar system will be replaced by a chatbot. Their billing system will be using a search bar. And once we do that, then we are no longer stuck in 1900s or 1990s or 2000s. We are ready to move forward in the world. And we are in this position at end to end because of our investments in APIs, because of our investment in integration, because of our investment in data to truly make this happen. And over the last couple of months, Tim and I and a few other people have been working on a platform that is ready to be launched. And this lightleap.ai will be launched in spring of 2024 uh, with a beta launch with a couple of the partners. And again, I prepared a demo for you guys, and I don't know how I can pull this off with the way the systems are designed, but this system will replace their homepage, they'll replace their web mobile application, they'll replace their student self-service, they'll replace their advising system, where all these systems will be just going into the corner, an advisor can literally come in and say, how is John Doe doing this in this campus? Or a president can just come in and say, how is my College of Liberal Arts doing? Or a student, Varun, like Varun can come in and say, anything from where can I find parking, or where can I eat food today, or to how do I register for classes? And that is what I'm most excited about, and I'm most excited about this journey and starting it with you guys, and I can't wait to show this product to you guys.